notes back in Revhead. I thought it's, we'd start today off with a jaunty run back to the shop with fantastic musical interludes. So uh, let's let's do that and we'll get back there. As you can see, I've bought new tires and painted my rims, and I had forgotten to turn on the recording when I did that. <laughs> so here we are. Um, but that's all that's happened. I just installed the wheels and uh, all that. I'm still convinced I'm missing a part here. Um, that there should be a, a piece coming out of the turbo. It says it's 380 horsepower, but it sure doesn't. It sure doesn't feel like 380 horsepower, but let's go take it out to the road. Um, and maybe we can go do a little bit of, a little bit of racing. Okay. How do I shift again? Oh yeah. Nope. Okay. Like for some reason it's not on my screen anymore. What gear I'm in, but that's okay. Cause usually it'll say like, it'll have like one or something there. All right, let's see. Um, I need a Wally. I have no idea the coffee run. What is that? I'm gonna bet 500 bucks. We'll see. Oh, geez. Like I said, I got off-road tires now, so maybe that'll help. Yeah, for some reason it's cut off the bottom of the screen a little bit. I don't know why, but... That's alright, we'll figure it out. Okay, now this is feeling a bit more... 380 horsepower-ish, but it's still not beating that stupid truck. Rubbin' Sun is racing. All right, let's do this. Come on, baby. Okay, these tires are better, but like, it's still not a very fast car. Which again is fine. I'm not super concerned about having the fastest car out there. But I just wanted to feel like it's <laughs> it's fast. Come on, baby. Okay, well, we are in first. I, I just realized that. I, I thought I was chasing this guy still. But that's okay. <laughs> first, I can live with first. Especially if this guy's gonna be, like, getting, getting gapped here, like a whole lap behind. Yes! Come on, game! Take me to the winner's circle, please. Oh, no. Oh god, it's th that truck is catching up. I can feel it. Ugh. Okay, lap five of five. All right, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Come on. Okay, this is great. I'm loving this. This is this is a lot better with these tires on it, but still squirrely as hell. Oh, yes. I won 1250 bucks. 
The only Wanja in the whole race. You didn't, nobody else finished. Okay, well, you know what? That's great. Let's, um, let's go over bronze and see, see what our time is. I don't know why I can't see that. I don't know if my resolution is wrong or something, but... Come on, bud. 23 seconds is, is the, the, the gold record here. I might be able to get silver, possibly. But I doubt it. Because this thing was slower than my my Wally was. Was it a Wally I had before? Slower that round. Come on. Okay, so twenty six fifty eight would put us solidly into the silver territory. So let's try that again, but with, uh, I think I'm going to do silver time. I'm going to bet $1,000. It sounds like a lark. Let's do this, bud. I like a good, uh, good silvery run. Silver run forest, if you will. Yeah, but the dirt track tires are helping. Oh, it's already in the in on lock, baby. Come on. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is going quite well. Not fast enough to pick up that 23 second time, but it's not bad considering this is just a straight six. Like, well, not just. There's plenty of great straight sixes out there. As BMW, but the two Jay Z would like to talk to you. <laughs> All right, so that's a thousand bucks. Right? Oh, I won 2,000 bucks because I get my 1,000 bucks back. How much money do I have right now? I'm going to do a couple more. Give me, give me a second. I'm going to come back. Okay, so we got 5,200 bucks. That's not bad. And we know how to make money now, which is good. Oh, look at this. A high mileage Jingu. We need, we, we, we're trying to get a tow truck. And uh, there's no good tow trucks out here really so our best bet is there's a big block one that's totally thrashed like this narnu or we can get a high mileage jingu but at least the jingu is drivable does that make sense we can also get this wreck jingo for 2100 bucks and then repair it from nothing but the real question then becomes, what do we want? How do we want it? And where do we want to go with said project? I, I Like I said, I just want to make a tow truck. And then I can go tow trucking with it. How much money do we have? $5,230. We, we don't quite have enough for this one. This would be good. But I think this high mileage one wouldn't be the worst. Um, oh, it looks like I might have a broken, a broken engine completely. What about this one? 140 horsepower. Not great. This one, 11 horsepower. So this could be because of engine parts, but I say we're going to pick up this. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. 
that's right. Okay, so we got 800 bucks left. So let's, um, oops, let's go to the parking garage and bring in this. Um, there we go. All right, let's see. Okay, so she's not great, but she is drivable. So let's get her uh, up on the hoist. We'll see what is horrifically wrong with this thing. Okay, okay, not, uh, it's, oh, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so it needs some body work. That's fine. I think, what is this thing again? This is a Jingu. And how much horsepower is it making? 101 horsepower. So it's got a, a million miles, like literally a million miles. So, but honestly, it's not in that bad of shape. Uh, it's not in good shape. But I think it's like completely drivable. So we just got to get the, the box for it. Maybe do some body work. Fifty eight hundred bucks to fully restore this thing. Can I can I start it? Okay, it doesn't start. It looks like it's out of fuel, maybe. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, we got dogs barking. Let's see. Um, fuel. It has fuel. Okay, so it's just doesn't want to start. All right, well, let's go see. Sorry about all the barking. Um, let's get her up on the hoist then and see what's wrong with it. It has been in a wreck, like you can tell, but... I don't know. It's got no starter. <laughs> okay, so what is this, a, C a, a CV-8? Well, yeah, so let's go check for the starter in the uh, parts. Engine, I'm not sure. Is that electric? Hey, Harper, I'm trying to record right now, please. Let's see. Um... There's that under engine. No, I don't know where that's under. Is that under, is it, in, is, there any, is it under electric? Hang on. Now I'm not seeing it here either. But it's not going to do anything without, I'm going to buy a new paper here. Hang on. Let's buy this. Electric, do, 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 bad ignition. A new starter. Ooh. But that's not going to work on ours, is it? So the starters are here. It's just a matter of finding one. Or I got to go down and buy one from the, um, the shop. Wait a minute. This is a Jingu, right? I have a Jingu. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't have the money for it, but we'll we'll take it. Let's see. There we go. Let's put this here. Mm, starter. Install. Oh, she runs. Sweet. Excellent. Now, let's get her out for a rip. Okay, okay, not great, but not terrible. Yeah, she is she's she's hurting a little bit. What do I get some fuel? I don't got a lot of money right now, so And now we just got to get a tow bed for it. We got a tow truck, right? Uh, fill her up. 
how much did that cost me? Fifty nine liters? Jeez. So we got five hundred and sixteen dollars. Now we need a Okay, so a new tow bed. Okay, yeah, thirty five hundred bucks for a Jingu. So we just need to make some money. So let's swap out till we can make thirty five hundred bucks. Um we're gonna have to make crappy money. So let me go racing. And we will, in this monstrosity, I'm going to, oh, no, I don't want to change. I don't want to buy it. Okay, 22 grand for that crap? Oh, it's horsepower is down. Let's see here. Um, Excellent. So just from racing a little bit, we've worn out some of the parts. Uh, so let's uh, time trial it. We'll do for... No, I don't got that. Let me see. I got, I got 500 bucks. We'll do it for bronze. So we, we got rid of three horsepower just by racing this thing a couple of times. But we need $3,500 for that... For that uh, tow bed, which we want badly. Because there was tow jobs we could do. try leaving this in fourth gear and see if I can pull this off. I'm pretty sure I'm in fourth gear. Just to see if I can stay in the torque band. Like, there's no... Generally, engines don't make a lot of power on the top end, depending on what they are, but... These V8s don't generally make their power up top. They make it kind of in the mid-range, lower to mid-range. Generally, the longer the stroke, you know, the earlier the torque is made, so... Best time, 25? That's not bad. There we go, and we're going to come around here. Ugh. Yes, 25, not bad. So we're gonna do a few more of these. I can do can I do silver now? Sure, I'll just take it, man. Gotta get gotta get our big money here. Because if we can get the tow bed, then I can do tow jobs, which I wanna do. Better than doing hand jobs for money, I can tell you that much. Alright. Yeah, fourth gear now it's like I thought third was good, but fourth gear seems to be where it's at. Like we've already, we've already won the money, so it doesn't matter at this point. We're not gonna get into the 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 the, the big cup thing, but not without a lot more power than this, obviously. good enough for that 23 second but we could we got under 26 which isn't bad yeah but i'll keep doing it for silver here we'll get some uh, cash ahead so we can buy our tow bed oh no i screwed that up whoops oh well second lap's usually my best lap anyway getting some clout against some of those street racers out there but the only time I tried to race one the dude absolutely destroyed me like destroyed me come on 
baby. Yeah, we got this thousand bucks in the bag. That's where it's at, baby. <laughs> the dirt track behind the shop. do one more race yeah let's do it okay let's see time trial i can do silver i can bet a thousand bucks let's go she seems to like to shift about 55 Come on, baby. Oh, we're in for the time again. My times are decently consistent, but I am, like I said, I'm, I'm getting a little wear and tear on the engine. So it might be worth going over it every once in a while and just fixing stuff before it breaks, obviously. This is going really well, considering, considering where I started and how many problems I was having. This is going pretty well. There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so where's it? Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't show my money here. 4,000 bucks. All right. So let's um, look up. Where was I? Body. Uh, a tea bed for, or tow bed for a jingle. Let's get that. Yeah, I'll take it. So let's get out of here. We're going to swap out cars to that. Oops. I never mean to start them and come out here, but. Like, I'm not worried about this thing having a, a ton of power. What? Could we not go into the shop? Or is the other car already in there, maybe? Well, hang on. All right, so let's um, park it. We'll take this to... There we go. Excellent. So let's get her up on the hoist. And... Um, okay. Let's remove that and let's install. Oh, do I need like a flatbed to install it on? Is that possibly the case? Because it doesn't want me to put it. Yeah, it doesn't want me to do it here. So what if I remove the normal bed? Do I do I need like a flat bed? Let me check the papers. Is it does it look like it has a flat bed for the toe? Oh, I could have got this one for two thousand. Yep, yeah, dank. I just need to see a picture of a tow truck. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. Why, why, why is there suddenly no tow trucks when I need one? Well, that's what we're working with. So, what is this, body? Okay, what, Harry? You're supposed to come down at the end of the video and bother me. Alright, let me see. It's got to be because of the flatbed, right? Because 
because I'm going to sell this. Because I can't just install that on the frame. So I, like, I'm assuming it needs the flatbed to install. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. But there's never a flatbed here. Flat, there's a Wanja flatbed, but nothing for this. And so, all right, you know, it's, we have to go to bed anyway. So let's just drive home in this for the night. But it is not an attractive vehicle, I can tell you that. More dogs barking. What is going on upstairs right now? All right, let's sleep. <laughs> Dreaming about trucks. Okay, let me see. All right, let's go. Yeah, the shifting on this is wretched, man. All right, coming in, boss. Let's see. We got the tow bed for the Jingu. Oh my God, it's just, it's never here. Like anything I want, it's like, he wants it. So we should probably make sure that he doesn't get a chance to use it. Okay, okay. And why are these? That's a normal bed. I don't want it. No, mate. Now, people were saying you can buy cars for cheap and part them out to make money. That may be a thing. I don't know. So it might be worth doing if we can find something cheap enough to part out. Strip it down. Part it out. Call it a day. But we don't have enough money to tear it apart anything here. So we either go racing, we buy another magazine, hope for a flatbed, see if we can afford it. We won't be able to, then we'll have to go race again, blah, 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 rinse and repeat, right? So that's where we're at right now. <laughs> and that's, that's okay though, because I'm fine with this. But um, I wish I could fix the body on this, but yeah, no, it's a tow truck, so I'm not super concerned about it. I think it has its charms, you know? Get her up on the hoist again. I want to take a look. So the drive shaft ain't great. We can fix it though. Got it. Excellent. Differential is. Ugh, half shaft's worn out. Oh, it's bad. Can we fix it? Oh, it's like new. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So we, we might be able to fix some of these things up and, uh, cause some of them are fairly cheap to fix. So let's fix up what we can for relatively cheap. It's a new steering wheel. That's not bad. Hmm. That's pretty good. For how much? 35 bucks. We will skip on that for now. Carburetor is, we'll give it a little fix there. $643 to repair that. That suspension's all right. That one's okay. That one's all right. This one is not great, so we'll fix that. We can't do much about tires and stuff. Ooh, what about the gearbox? How much is it? 187 bucks. Now we'll skip that for now. But right now, like I said, it's not it's not terrible. And if I could find a new magazine especially with a tow truck in it for sale. But of course, no tow trucks. Why would there be tow trucks? That would be ridiculous because they're only in every other one and I can't afford them. And now when I want to see a picture of one, it's okay. It's okay. Just relax, homie. Okay. Okay. So let's, um, I'm going to go to the parts store because this is, this is silly. So let's go for a, you want to go for a ride? Okay. What happened? Why did it stop? So the parts shop is this way, if I remember correctly.
Boy, that transmission shifts slow. So we're being only about 150 horsepower, which is, you know, not the worst thing I've driven so far. But she shifts real bad. Six of the road pretty good though. <laughs> Strangely. Yeah, we'll go to the auto parts place because Christ man, like you go looking for something, you can't get it, right? That's just Isn't that always the way? All right. I'm looking for some parts. Okay, excellent. Parts. Um, body? Cover air intake carburetor. These are headlights. Why would I need that? Carburetors? Holy jeez, the exhaust stuff on this. The gearing alone is crazy. Look at all this crap. Yeah, I'm not seeing any flatbed stuff. Because if we go to body, it, it that's it, all it's showing is the wings, soft tops and hard tops, and then it's into air intakes. Oh, this is sad. This is very sad. I think I have my one. I think I have my car a bit over carbureted too. I got to tell you. So yeah, there's nothing here. Let's go cross country with it. What is that? I see a big tire. Is that where I'm from? Oh no, that's not a tire. That's a farm. Well, a water thing. What is that? A, like, a, like, a, like a well. It pumps water in the wind. So I'm not happy with the way things are working out at the moment because it sounds like it's getting really warm. Nope, another one. Oh my god. Why, why? Why? Why won't you just let me have... Why won't you just let me have my flatbed? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't shifting there. Well, we might as well go make some money for a couple of races and a time trial. Because it's going to cost more than we have anyway, so. And then we'll get a flatbed, but let's do uh, at least two races. Like I said, I'm not sure it needs a flatbed. I just have the sneaky suspicion that it does. Like, 
it's just one of those things where it, it kind of makes sense. Put the toe on a flatbed. Did I already make the time? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do now. Perfect. Now this thing could probably be faster. I'm just not sure how. We could drop a V8 in it, but we're gonna need a lot more money than we got now. Because I gotta buy the whole V8 engine. So maybe it's a matter of making a few grand and partying out a car and see if we can actually make money off of it. Until we can find a flatbed anyway. Because it just makes sense, right? Like, we'll get the flatbed, we'll get... Oh, yeah, here we go. Exactly. Time trial. Silver. I can do it. Let's do it. Make it, make it, make it money the old-fashioned way. Illegal behind the thing races. I'm sure this is a super riveting gameplay for you guys. <laughs> Watch whatever I put out, you fools! <laughs> yeah, this game's one of those games that's gonna be a bit of a slog at times, but I, I kinda like repetitive gaming, so. It sounds hot. I don't have a heat gauge, so it doesn't matter. A nice racing dashboard would be cool, so I could actually have a speedometer again and all that, but like I said, I'm not too concerned about knowing how fast I'm going what the time's for. Because if we can get a few grand, maybe we can buy some wrecked thing and then sell it off and, and make our money back, maybe? I'm just curious if it can be done. So let me do this race and then one more, and then we'll go see if we can find a wreck to take apart for this episode. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're already in a zone here. Excellent. Continue. Oh, I don't know. What am I going to do? A silver time race? Are you kidding me? Really? You escape? Are you, are you seriously? My goodness. My stars. My God in heaven. Howard be thy name. All right. Not bad, not bad. A little high on the outside there, but we're doing all right. You gotta start high and dig down into the corner so you can come out high again and gain speed out of the corner. Yeah, we already won the money, so it doesn't matter. Suck my money, suck my money, you fools. Beer, beer, beer. Sleep driving, sleep driving. <laughs> Now, if there was a sleep driving contest, I could totally win. I'm the best sleep driver around. Ain't nobody can out-sleep drive this guy. Go back here. Okay, how do we get back garage? Hmm, let's see. What do we got? Oh no. Oh, a T bed and a normal bed. Well, guess what, buddy? We're buying a car. How much money have we got? Four grand. There's a wrecked jingo right there for twenty one hundred bucks. Do we wanna take it? Do we wanna strip it down and see what she's worth? Okay. So we got four thousand twenty eight dollars. So we basically got four grand. So let's buy this. Right? Now we're going to go to our garage, grab this garbage. It's 140 horsepower though. So let's, let's take it to the garage and let's, um, strip it for parts. <laughs> like what's the worst that could happen? Uh, remove, 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 remove. So we have 4,028, right? Uh, 
Okay, let's take this off. Some stuff I'm re I'm not removing in sequence, which I should probably do. Oh, tail lights can come out. Now I might want to get the engine and strip it completely. Fuse box, front sway bar. I don't think there's anything left to remove here, is there? All right, let's go to the parts. Uh, CV8 engine. Let's see. Remove, remove, remove. A lot of broken stuff here, but. So the only thing I don't want to sell is the tow body, right? Uh, I'm going to create a box called, um, oh, no, wait a minute. We already got a one called the Jingu. Oh, that is. Okay, we're going to create a new box, though. Create a box called Toe. Okay. Now, how do we get... There we go. So that should all be, you know, everything else we should be, oh, in the, in the, in the slick tires. Oh, that's in the Wanja box. So. This should, okay, let's sell this. How much do we get? Oh my God, look. Holy crap. Wait a minute. Do I still have my other boxes? Yeah, I got that. Oops. Oh God, what are you what are you doing here? Okay, here we go. And I got the slicks in there. Nice. What the heck? What the heck? You telling me I can just go go like, oh my God, I'm gonna just buy um how much money I got? Six six thousand dollars worth of car. Um and we'll just take it apart, I guess. This is a whole new paradigm. This is a paradigm shift. Okay, so this is. I'll take it. So we have. Well, we had 6,600 bucks, right? Oh, wait. Now, can't can we just sell this off too? Because it's basically just a husk at this point. <laughs> so let's uh, go to the parking garage. Let's um grab that. Five, this is 538 horsepower. 36, sorry. Now, obviously, she's in pretty rough shape, but we're going to take this and we're going to sell that. Now, oh, we're going to get 120 bucks for it, but sure, I'll take it. Back to the garage, but we're just, this is just a stripper. So we're just going <laughs> to. Okay. It's not a stripper. I want to point that out. All right. So let's. Um, Remove all this crap. Like I said, I don't know if you got to remove each piece individually or what, but we're going to try doing it this time. I'm not sure if this car is going to be worth anything at the end of the day, but... Because there seems to be quite a few parts missing, so we may not... Well, like I said, we had just about sixty sixty seven hundred dollars. Sway bar can go. Oh, that's it. Wow, that wasn't uh, very much at all. So how do we get, oh yeah, it's, a, it's part of the body thing, right? So let's go to the parts. Here we go. Box. This is the Magura. Let's sell box. Holy crap. That, like we're making, okay, this, now this is cash. <laughs> this is, this is the big one, baby. We should buy a whole brand new tow truck. Okay, let me see. Um, So let's go to the parking lot. Welcome to the parking lot. Uh, 
Okay, this thing's fine. It's fine. Should we just... Oh, okay, let me see here. Parking lot. And then we'll go back to parking lot and we'll sell that. Like, this is just an injection of cash I was, wasn't expecting. So, uh, let me see here. Newspaper. Ooh, a Jingo Deluxe Edition. Fancy. Tow truck. It looks like... It looks like it has a different bed in it. It does. But is it a, it's not a tea bed, is it? No. It just doesn't have that regular box. Oh, we gotta flap it for a wanja now. Jeez. You ridiculous monster, you. Well, okay, I think we should strip at least one more car down now, because we're here. We got 12 grand. Let's uh, let's strip something out. What is as close as we can get? There's 13. That's a little more than we can afford. 116. That's right in our price range. So really, there's not a whole lot. 43, 52, 27. I don't see a lot here. And oh, wait a minute. Right here. Look, it's brand new. A new $11,900. We just have enough for this. Get it. It's it's two hundred eighty five horse. Let's take it. We're gonna take, we're gonna take a brand new car and strip it. Maybe. All right, up on the hoist, bud. Let's just uh, remove everything. It's all new too. That's great. This has got to be worth a little bit of coin, right? Like everything 100% brand new. Boy, I always dreamed of owning a brand new car. <laughs> get out of here, you dink. All right, let's get out of here. Get out of here. It's amazing when all the parts are here. I think we just had a paradigm shift in how we're going to do business from now on. Remove that, remove this. Remove that, remove this. Steering, horn, exhaust, fuse box, rear sway bar. All right, now let's, uh, oh, we didn't get, we didn't get all our money back for that one. Look at that. So buying brand new is not worth it. Like really, really, really not worth it. So it only really works if you, uh. get something older. Now the body's probably worth a grand at least, but I would say most likely tow that in, go back to the parking lot and we'll sell that off for yes. Yeah. So we didn't, uh, didn't make our money back, but we now know better and we can check a new paper. There we go. Nothing for a flatbed. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to leave this episode here because we did good, though. We made 10 grand. Well, we made a little more than that, and then we, we did something stupid. So we got to part out crappy vehicles. That's the deal. And then uh, we'll get this monstrosity working. I know we could just buy, probably do, do that a bunch of times, buy a new one, but I kind of bought this one, and I want to fix it up. I may leave the dents for fun, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe or your cat to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well... Probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. This looks like a rabbit or something. Anyway, you know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. We should run the generator. Sell everything. Out. Out.